And welcome back, you fabulous math masters of Virtual Room 502. Uh, time for more of Mr. Leggett's Eureka Math in the morning. And we're going to get on our problem set. We're getting page 59. Today's date is 11, November 10th, 2020. Okay, let's get right on this. It says, um, uh, by... Solve using the standard algorithm. Check your quotient and remainder by using multiplication and addition. So a lot going on here, don't you think? But believe me, with practice, you're going to get this. So 46 is our dividend. 2 is our divisor. All right? Think about it. Now let's not do the place value. Just let's just tackle this problem. Okay. 2 times 2 is 1, right? What's 2 times 2? 4. 2 times 2 is 4. In this case, is actually 2 times 20 is 40. Then we are ready to subtract. Bring down the 6. 4 minus 4 is 0. Then we think, how many 2s can I get into 6? Like when we use those little place value disks, think about it. 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 3 is 6. We subtract, and we get 0. So our answer must be 23, remainder 0. Let's check using multiplication. 23 times 2. 3 times 2 is 6, and 2 times 2 is 4. Are we correct? You bet we are. Continue on. 96 divided by 3. Okay, think about it. 3 times 1, 3. 3 times 2, 6. 3 times 3, 9. So I'm going to put a 3 here. And a 9 down there, we're going to subtract, we get 0, bring down the 6. How many 3s and 6? 3 times 1 is 3, 3 times 2 is 6. Subtract again, and 0. Let's check using multiplication, 32 times 3. All right, 2 times 3 is 6, 3 times 3 is 9. All right, got that? Let's continue. Mr. Liggett, you got to be kidding me. No, I'm not kidding. We'll do five. And if you're comfortable with this, go right ahead and finish and just come back and check, okay? How many fives can I get inside of eight? Just one. Five times one is five. Five times two is ten. So I'm going to put the one up here and the five down there. We'll subtract. Eight minus five is three. Bring down the one. We've been encountering this a lot. 5 times what is 35? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Stop. 5 times 7 is 35. No remainder. Let's check using multiplication. 17 times 5. This should equal 85. 7 times 5 is 35. 10 times 5 is 50 plus 60, 70, 80 is 85. And we are absolutely correct. 52 divided by 4. 4 times 1 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. It's going to be 4 times 1, right? Time to subtract. 5 minus 4 is 1. Bring down the 2. 4 times 1 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. 4 times 3 is 12. So the 3 there, and I'll 12 down there, and we subtract, and we get nothing. Time to check using multiplication. 13 times 4. 3 times 4 is 12. There's my 2, there's my 1, 12, I mean my 10. 10 times 4 is 40, plus that 10 makes it 50, and we are absolutely correct, 52. All right, we're going to do 3. This is our divisor, 53 is our dividend. Let's get started. How many 3s into 5? 3 times 1 is 3, 3 times 2 is 6. It's just going to be 1. Time to subtract. 5 minus 3 is 2. Bring down the 3. It's 23. Let's count how many 3s we can get into 23. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24. So it looks like 8 is too many. So it's going to be 3 times 7, which is 21. And this is why it's really nice to have your multiplication chart handy. You can find your Avid agenda. 3 minus 1 is 2. 2 minus 2 is 0. We have a remainder of 2. So it's 17 times 3 right? We take the quotient and multiply it by the um, divisor. I forgot to put remainder 2 up there. 
So I can't multiply, I can't divide two by three, we're done. Seven times three, we know is 21, bring up the two. One, 10 times three is 30, plus 20, 40, 50 is 51. They're not the same because we need to add on the remainder. One plus two is three, and there's a five, 53, 53, we're all set. Okay, try this one on your own. We have 95 divided by four. Give it a shot. Use your um, multiplication chart if need be. And welcome back. Hope you paused the tape and I hope you gave it a try. It's okay to get these things wrong. That's how you're gonna learn. They're incorrect, it's okay. That's how you learn. That's a good growth mindset. Four times one is four, but four times two is eight. Four times three is 12, so it's gotta be four times two. Nine minus eight is one, break down the five. Four times one is four, four times two is eight, four times three is 12, four times four is 16. 16 is greater than 15, so I'm gonna go back to four times three, which is 12, and I'm ready to subtract. One minus, uh, five minus two is three, one minus uh, one is zero. So it looks like I'm gonna have 23, remainder three. Let's check, we're gonna take the quotient and multiply it by the divisor. 23 times four. Four times three is 12. 20 times four, two times four is eight, plus the one is nine. We have 92, that's not the same. Oh, we gotta add the remainder, right? Plus three, two plus three is five, bring down the nine. We have 95 and that is the correct answer. I'm gonna turn this over, we're gonna take a quick little break. That was a lot of dividing for me and for you. And so let's go ahead and pause the recording. You can take a little stretch break, get some water, go to the restroom, walk around the house a bit. 